This is Christopher Nolan's Interstellar, a cinematic masterpiece made on space travel. The total budget of the movie was rupees 1062 crores. Now this is Chandrayaan 3. A real space mission by Indian space research organization IE ISRO which aims to touch down a lander on the south pole of the moon. You might be thinking about the budget, right? Well, rupees 615 crores, almost half the amount of what Nolan's Interstellar was made upon. You see, the journey to the moon is not so easy. It is nearly 4 lakh kilometers away from Earth. But the commitment to explore the lunar surface in the most cost-efficient manner is what sets the Chandrayaan-3 mission apart. Since the failure of Apollo 13 mission, when three astronauts travelling to moon suffered a catastrophic failure midway, no space agency in the world has ever tried to send humans back up again. But they have sent several rovers to explore and research the rocky and lifeless lunar surface. The first time NASA sent a rover on the moon was back in 1971, which costed approximately Rs. 9,600 crores in today's value. Similarly, when Soviet Union's Luna 1 was sent to land on the moon in 1970, it costed Bolsheviks a staggering rupees 80,000 crores. Meanwhile, India's Chandrayaan 3 has only costed ISRO a mere rupees 615 crores. To understand how ISRO does this, you need to delve into the realms of the cosmic science. One of the key areas where ISRO stands out is in propulsion technology. Instead of relying on traditional fossil-based fuels that can be expensive to develop and store, ISRO harnesses the natural forces of gravity to propel its spacecraft towards the moon. Chandrayaan-3 takes advantage of a technique called gravity assist. By skillfully utilizing gravitational forces of both Earth and Moon, ISRO's spacecraft gains speed and momentum without the need for excessive fuel consumption. ISRO has mastered this maneuvering capability so well that the Chandrayaan-1 which went to Moon in 2008 created history by discovering water ice on Moon's South Pole for the first time in just Rs 386 crore rupees. And not just Moon, in 2014 ISRO reached Mars in its first attempt with its Mangalyaan mission using the same gravity assist technique. The mission costed just Rs 450 crores. At the same time, NASA's Maven orbiter also went to the Mars, which costed over Rs. 5,000 crores. By navigating the universal forces, ISRO's spacecrafts have effectively surfed through space, requiring significantly less fuel compared to NASA or any other agency in the world. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.